Angels, it's Haley Reese, and my, oh my, do I have a story for you guys today. This one's interesting for me to be filming because like 90% of my hauntings or paranormal or scary stories are from the past. And it's like, oh, don't live in that house anymore. I can push that behind me. You know, maybe someday I'll buy it, but I don't have to like worry that like, this ghost is watching me in the corner film it, or like this is happening, or that is happening. It's just like I'm in a fresh new home. I really didn't think that my house was haunted, this house at all. I mean, I thought that Red was, which is, if you haven't watched that video, I have a haunted doll. So I thought that maybe Red was haunted, but I didn't think that my house was haunted. <laughs> that was until a few nights ago. Before I get into this story, I just want to say, if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Haley. I tell some pretty crazy stories on this channel. So if you enjoy them and you would love to join our Reese's Pieces family, I would love it if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button. I post a ton of videos. I don't want you to miss when I upload if you do enjoy them. And I mean, you get to join the Reese's Pieces, which is like the most awesome family I've ever met in my life. So it's a win-win. <laughs> okay. I don't really know where to start because now like a couple of things are starting to really make sense to me. I'm gonna start at like, let's say like a week and a half ago, okay? Or no, 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 no. Actually, I'm gonna start at around the time when I filmed the Devil Came For My Uncle video. So when I was editing that video, I was in my home studio and that's not the room that I'm in right now. This is my bedroom. So I was in my home studio and I was editing and everything kept going wrong in my editing. I would edit like an entire sequence and I would go to like take a sip of a drink and look and it's gone. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, is my Final Cut Pro messing up? Like, what is happening here? So like all of these weird things kept happening. It took me five times to export that video, five times. And I don't know if you guys remember, if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you would know this. It would not upload when I did finally get all of those glitches to stop and I did get it exported and like, and compressed. So it took like five times to upload and I will be like 10 million percent real with you guys right here. I thought to myself, I was like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't upload this video. Like maybe this is a sign that this is not like a good video to upload. It turned out to be a very controversial video, but you guys did enjoy it and it was a true story. But like the fact that everything was going wrong and editing for me is usually a very calming, easy process left me very uneasy. So I guess it kind of started there. That was when things started to go a little bit weird. That whole week things were disappearing from my room and I'm, I'm home alone. So it was very, very unusual for things to go into different places. Something you guys probably don't know about me is I'm OCD, so I'm very like particular with where my things go and how things need to be. And so I notice when things are out of place. I'm not like somebody who throws things everywhere and like doesn't know when things are out of place. I know. So when things start to go missing, I'm like, what the heck? Now my sister does have a very bad habit of just like coming in my house <laughs> unexpectedly and like when I'm not home, like going in my room and borrowing things. So I have like blamed her probably like for five things that like later in the day when she had not come to return them mysteriously like showed up somewhere else. So that should have been a little bit of like a sign for me that hey, maybe like things are happening around here but even still, I'm like so in my own world. I'm trying to focus on creating content and telling incredible crazy stories from my childhood. I wasn't focusing on things happening in this house. About a week ago is when things started to get really, really like, ugh. <laughs> what makes this so scary to me is that like, I'm home alone when these things happen. So like back then I lived with like my whole family and I was never home alone. And so it was like, it would be like creepy, but like you're with other people and it's not so creepy. But when you're home alone, it's like, oh my goodness, like there's no explanation. So. About a week ago, I'm upstairs and I'm editing once again, and I'm getting ready to post this video for you guys, and I hear like a woman's voice singing downstairs. And I'm like, what the heck? And I thought like, is my sister here? Because it wasn't like a definitive voice. It was like humming, like, and like my sister isn't one to really sing. Like she's not someone who like goes around singing. If she does, it's like trap music. So I was like, who is in the house? 
So I go to the top of the stairs and I'm like, hello, Julia, are you here? And like, no answer. I'm like, what the heck? Did my mom come over? I'm like, mom, hello, are you here? And the humming is still going on. This is the crazy part. No one answers me. So I'm like, maybe my sister's trying to mess with me. She watched like the woman in white video and like she remembered that like the woman in white sang and like hummed. So I thought like maybe she's trying to like freak me out, right? So I go downstairs. Sorry, one second. <clears throat> so I go downstairs and right when I'm about to turn the corner, the humming stops and there's like no one in sight. My front door is locked. My back door is locked. My garage door is locked. The basement door is shut. And I'm like, okay. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I got a comment on like one of my videos saying like maybe you're schizophrenic. I can promise you guys I am not schizophrenic. But either way, it makes you feel crazy because I'm like I definitely heard this. Like even when I was still coming down the stairs, I could hear it and it wasn't until like I turned the corner that it stopped. What the heck? <laughs> So the other night was when I finally realized that like, okay, this house is haunted and I've either like attracted these things because I'm constantly talking about my experiences, which by the way, we've talked about this before, what you put out there, you receive. It's like Vivian said in my past life decoding, or maybe it was in the intro video, one of the two, she says like, the angels are there for everybody's accessibility. If you want them, all you have to do is simply ask. If you're constantly talking to your spirit guides, they're going to come talking about ghosts <laughs> so maybe they're like in the neighborhood and they're like you know what let's go to this house because she's open to it and that's a, a very real possibility and I can say up until this point because this is very very new this has only been like the past couple of nights that I realized that this was happening <laughs> um so I'll keep you guys updated but I can say up until this point it's nothing like evil or scary okay but two nights ago I do need to say this actually no three nights ago I woke up in the middle of the night and my room was completely black. I sleep like with no TV on, no nightlight, nothing. And I wake up and I see this like shape of a woman in my room. And you know when you're like half asleep, half awake? Well, I jumped out of bed really quickly and flicked my light on and she was gone. So I was like, okay, I definitely dreamt that. Like that was like a half dream, half awake state. It is what it is. And I went back to sleep. However, <laughs> two nights ago, I wake up in the middle of the night. So I wake up twice this night. The first time I wake up because I hear something in my room and I see this same woman silhouette, but it's super dark in my room, you guys. My room gets really dark. I have black blinds on my windows. So my room's really, really dark. So I see like this shape and she's like touching this crystal, right? Hold on, I'll grab. And she's touching this crystal right here. This is how I know that she's nothing evil because this crystal, is a crystal like protection and high vibrations. So you're supposed to meditate with it and uh, and bring in good vibrations that you're vibrating high and nothing of like negativity or negative energy or like demonic or anything wants to come around you because your energy is always so vibrantly high. So this is like a good stone. This stone, this crystal is like a high vibration stone but like she was touching it when I woke up. So once again, I jump out of bed, I flick on my flashlight and I look over and she is like nowhere in sight. So once again, I'm like, okay, Haley, like enough. Maybe you're telling too many ghost stories. Maybe you're talking about too many experiences you've had. Now you're starting to see things like what the heck. So I fall back asleep. About an hour later, I wake up again. But this time I have a big mirror here. It's like the Ikea big black mirror. I see like a face of a man that looks sick, like looking out at me, but he's not looking in the mirror. So he's like in the freaking mirror. And I'm like, okay, now this one, I stared at it. I stared at it and I stared at it because sometimes when like you're sleeping and you wake up, a coat hanger with a hat on it can look like something until you really start to look at it and you realize it doesn't. Like the other day I thought there was a man in the bushes outside when I was walking to my car. It was like this weird shaped shrub that my neighbor had created and it looked like a human. So like our mind makes up things when we see certain shapes. So I stared at this and I stared at it and I stared at it and I stared at it and it did not change and it did not go away. So I rolled over and went back to sleep. I'm not going to disregard that I'm tired when all of these things happen. But the next day, you guys, so this was yesterday. So yesterday I wake up and I go to go sit over here because I keep my laptop here usually. And I go to check out like all of your comments and all of your sweet stuff. And I look over and I always keep my stones in the same spot. There's three crystals there right next to my candle. And I look over 
and the crystal is on the opposite side of my desk next to that candle. And I'm like, no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. So there was no explanation for that. It validated that what I saw was probably real. I don't know if I'm attracting these things because I'm talking about it or if I'm or if this house was haunted all along and I'm just starting to notice it. Could it be the woman in white has followed me here? Could it be you guys are red and the woman in white is like my guardian angel? I don't know. Some of you even think that the woman in white was me and I'm going to make a whole video on that conspiracy theory and what I think of that. But honestly, I don't know what to make of this. It is still so new. Today I was going to film a video of my old haunted house series and I was like, girl, the house you're in right now is becoming haunted. Like, talk about that. Give them something else, something fresh, something new. So that was today's video. I will definitely keep you guys updated on this and continue to make updated videos because I'm not someone that like scares away from that stuff. I keep a very positive energy. I keep things of light and love in my heart. So I don't feel like it's anything negative, but I'm interested to see what ends up happening. Once again, <laughs> promise I'm not crazy, <laughs> says every crazy person ever, but still I promise I'm not. I'm going to be posting a video every other day this week. I'd like to do every day, but definitely every other day because I want it to be top quality content. I don't want to just space fill. So I have some awesome stories that I want to share with you guys, some interesting new conspiracy theories, and I just have some videos where I just want to talk to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. So definitely turn on my notifications if you don't have them on. And if you are not yet subscribed, please click that subscribe button. I really, really love you guys so much. When you subscribe and our family grows, it makes my heart skip a million beats. I focus solely on bringing you guys top quality content. And from the bottom of my heart, that will always be my priority. This channel is so much more than me just creating videos. It is me connecting with you guys and I will never, ever, 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 ever take that for granted whether I have 60,000 of you or millions of you, which is just so unrealistic for me, but I'm just saying, no matter how many there are, I am so eternally grateful. And please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. It makes my heart very, very happy. And I love to see how many of you enjoyed it. It inspires me to keep making these videos. So please do that. Remember my loves, do all things with kindness. And until next time, love you.